browsing the thrift store and I found this really small funky mirror. It was only 99 cents at Savers. It's made in the USA. So I decided I'm going to turn this into a vanity tray. So I'm just going to remove this hardware off the back and we're going to tear open this paper and see what's going on under here. So I removed all the paper from the mirror and then I found some bits of hot glue so I pulled those off. I bit the staples back that were holding in the mirror and removed the mirror. I'm just going to set the mirror aside for now and work on the frame. So I got my 150 grit sanding block and I'm just going to sand down some of the sheen on the frame just so the next layer of paint is going to be able to stick better. And then I wiped down the frame with a mixture of vinegar and water. Next, for painting, I'm using Rust-Oleum Metallic Paint. This is in Titanium Silver from their Universal line. It's a paint and primer in one. So I'm just going to give it one thin, light layer. And then I'm going to let that dry, and I'm going to come back and give it another layer in about 15 minutes. And here's the second coat. I actually decided to do one more coat, so I did three coats in total, making sure they're light and thin, and allowing them to dry in between each coat. Now for the trim around the frame, I found this metal ribbon at Hobby Lobby. I actually ordered it online. So you get three yards for about $7 and sometimes they have it on sale. So definitely check that out if you are interested in doing a project like this. It's really handy and it's very flexible and easy to use. So right now I'm just measuring out how much I need and then I'm using my metal cutting shears to just trim off the piece that I need. So I'm going to be using these decorative nails to attach the metal ribbon to my frame. So now it's just a matter of choosing the hammer. I'm going to choose this rawhide hammer because it's more gentle on whatever you're hammering. So since I want these decorative nails to be nice and shiny and pretty, I'm going to be very careful hammering them in so as to not to mar them or mar the metal. If you look closely at the design of this filigree, it has small holes which lined up perfectly along the edge of the frame. So that's what I hammered each of the decorative nail heads into. So there you go, you can see it up close, and as I got to the end, I just needed to hammer in the final decorative nail. After the final nail was in, it was time to grab my pliers and mesh the two ends of the metal ribbon together. So I'm basically just bending them together so it just looks continuous rather than being two ends meeting at a corner. Now back inside, I'm just polishing up the mirror and placing it into the frame. And so I'm just going to check, make sure it's centered. And I'm going to take my hot glue gun. This is a high temperature hot glue gun. And I'm just adding a little dollop of glue to each corner just to help the mirror stay in place. I had this piece of foam board left over from a previous project, so I decided to cut it down to size and fit it into the back just to help smooth everything out and make sure the back was a nice flat surface. I pressed the staples back down to lock the foam board into place. I traced out a piece of scrapbook paper to fit on the bottom of my tray. So I went outside and got my spray adhesive. This is 3M spray adhesive, and I'm just going to spray one side of the piece of scrapbook paper, and I'm going to fit it over the bottom. So I'm just making sure that it's centered, and I'm just going to press it down and smooth it out. It just gives it a cleaner, finished look. Now it's time to grab my Rust-Oleum again in the titanium silver. I found these wood screw hole covers at Habitat for Humanity for about 10 cents. So I'm going to use these for the feet on the bottom of my tray. So I'm just giving them a couple coats of the titanium silver and I'm using my hot glue gun to attach them to the bottom. And I'm only using the tiniest amount of glue for each foot because I don't want the glue oozing out from beneath and I also want it to have a nice flat surface to adhere to. I don't want it to be too bumpy. I want them to all be very even. And here's how my new mirrored vanity tray turned out. I think it turned out great. I'm so happy with it. I think it's so pretty. It just adds that little touch of glamour to the top of your vanity, as well as serving as extra storage for maybe some of your favorite makeup products, maybe a couple of perfumes or lipsticks, uh, maybe some items that are in pretty packaging that you just like to look at. And I love that decorative nail trim on just about anything. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's DIY project. Let me know if you liked it. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.